In the shop today, we have a 2005 Chevy Trailblazer with a 4.2 liter engine and nearly 85,000 miles on it. The owner is complaining the blower motor doesn't run on high speed setting. The first step in this diagnosis is to study the wiring schematic to get an understanding of how this system functions. And here it is. As you can see, all the power originates at this 30 amp fuse, number 44. The power originates at the fuse, moves through the blower motor switch, and then back off to the HVAC control unit where it's grounded. Now when you select the, the low speed selection, the, the power moves from the 30 amp fuse down through that low speed of the switch, off to the relay, through the blower motor, and onto ground. But when you select high speed, it continues to move from the 30 amp fuse through the number 5 position of the switch. It moves off through the relay. The relay is energized by that 30 amp fuse and then down to ground. With that relay energized, it closes the contacts. The voltage now moves from the 40 amp fuse down through the red wire to the blower motor, through the contacts to the blower motor, and then onto ground. Okay, now the first place we need to look is the red wire to make sure we have battery voltage when the blower switch is placed on high speed. I grabbed the voltmeter and went under the dash to check the voltage. Well, guess what? As soon as the connector was touched, the fan started to run on high speed. Look at that. The terminal on the red wire is all burned. Think we found a problem? Yeah, me too. But more importantly, did we find a cause? A destroyed terminal like this is caused by high amperage on a circuit, like a short in a wiring or a blower motor that's drawing too much current. When a wire shorts to ground, it will typically blow a fuse, even a 40 amp fuse like the one placed in this circuit. But remember, a fuse is about heat, not current. A fuse is a calibrated connector that's placed in a circuit that's designed to open when too much current is drawn on a circuit. But this fuse didn't open. That tells me we don't have a short. It's time to check the blower motor for current draw. Clamp around the red wire and run the blower motor on high. The maximum draw for this blower motor is 18 amps. Well, look at that. This one is drawing 23 amps. We need also to replace the blower motor to complete the job the correct way. You will need to check your shop manual to determine the maximum amperage draw. Some can be as high as 25 amps. Now all we have to do is solder in a new connector, replace the blower motor, and test the draw again. As you can see, we are now drawing just under 15 amps, right in spec. Here's a tip for you. When you have a failed blower motor or blower motor resistor, be sure to check the cabin air filter and the cowl area for any restriction. This will cause an overheat condition for both the blower motor and the blower motor resistor. That causes a failure. See you next time on the Wells Garage.